Hi everyone, in today's episode I'm going to read out loud my article about uh, Revolut and its hiring process. The article is titled My Experience with Revolut Hiring Process. Let's dive in. I was approached by a LinkedIn uh, recruiter uh, about the position of copywriter translator. Imagine my amazement when I got a message via LinkedIn for a job position tightly related to my native language, Bulgarian, if you didn't know, and my experience as a translator in a local agency here in Zagreb, Croatia as a freelancer. My interest was caught by the word copywriter because I have noticed how their tone of voice has changed over time and I wanted to see how can I improve it for Bulgarian market as well. Long story short, I passed three interview rounds with one home task in between. Throughout the process, I have had extremely timely help and smooth communication with their colleagues operating as the coordinators during the recruitment process. As you may know or not, I'm a freelance web developer and UX UI designer and from time to time I get in my LinkedIn inbox job offers about different job positions. Sometimes they are about translation, other times for front-end positions and in the beginning even offers for customer service and similar. I try to give each opportunity a chance and get more insight into it before deciding. Why did I agree to have a screening call, you might wonder in this case. Well, my main motivation was the fact that I became a fan of Revolut in the past year and wanted to see what they offer. As soon as I started to research them, as you do before an interview to refresh your memory, I got more impressed and excited. The whole process or experience was quite pleasant. Every interaction with their employees was very professional and yet friendly. Email responses were very prompt whenever I had a question. I got an answer or information at least on which stage or person can give me more details. Scheduling meetings was also quite well organized. After my first screen call, I got my home task within one hour. During the whole hiring process, I was, of course, asked mainly about my translation history and sorry, if you will, what kind of experience I have and, of course, how would I react in certain teamwork situations. All that was great and every time I got feedback that my answers were great. You might think, wait, Nicoleta, aren't you fooling them by talking about translation experience when you're doing design as a freelancer? Well, no. I always try to be as transparent and honest in my work, interactions and writing as well. I did come forward in each interview with my high interest in copywriting, part of the job title and my user experience passion. Went as far as giving them small examples of how can improve the Bulgarian copy of their product and online presence. I'm not sure if that confession of mine was just written somewhere as a side note or ignored completely, I really don't know. Quote, copy and marketing refers to written information that aims to inform, persuade or entertain an audience. Businesses use copy to inform the public about their products and services, persuade the public to purchase their products and services, or drive traffic to their website using entertaining copy. Indeed.com. End of quote. The morning of the third interview for a team fit, I knew that I was not the right fit. The reason being, somehow I got the feeling that Revlot was searching for a translator only, hence having a short-term goal. On the other hand, I was viewing the opportunity as a long-term opportunity with looking at the big picture and how can I help them improve the user experience for my fellow Bulgarians in the future. Again, I was asked similar questions related to the more technical side of the translation as in first two interviews. But I think the point where everything became certain was when a Bulgarian translator asked me to translate a tagline on the spot and my brain just went into the clouds. It's true, I don't have experience in translating for fintech applications, but at that particular moment I didn't even had the idea to use a tool or ask if I can use a tool to translate more accurately the tagline in the tone of voice of Revolut. 
Not sure if the rules of the task were unclear or I just improvised and didn't work out. Do not know and probably will never will. Also, probably is for the best in terms of not making a turn in my career and working on a position that wouldn't actually benefit from my full potential, but just for a small part of it. I'm honestly still open and eager to work with them if they need my help. Time will tell. How was your experience with Revolut's hiring process? Please let me know in the comments. Do you have a different perspective on it? Let me know and share your personal experience or someone you know about. Thank you for reading and listening. Consider giving me a follow or subscribing, depending on the platform you're listening to. And for some interesting articles, please hit the notification bell. Wishing you a great week. Bye!